All right, everybody. All right. How's it going? Good to be back. Been away for a bit, and um, just want to say that this episode of the Life Is a Miracle podcast is brought to you by you. Dot com. That's right. Let's give a nice round of applause. So if you're kind of afraid of this whole AI thing, like the you chat thing, you're like, what's this GDP? Come on, man. I don't want, I don't need this stuff in my life. This is a browser. And so it has a you chat thing right here. Uh, and so you can interact with the uh, artificial intelligence. You don't have to you worry about tokens or anything like that. So it's very easy to use. You can even play. There's an image generator. So the links are in the description. And uh, if you're interested, man, just, just bust out and, and check it out. And today we're going to talk about... So this is what I believe. I believe we are in... We are uh, in a uh, part of history where we're looking at the dawn of a new golden age. And all the hysteria, all the hype, it's like, oh, COVID, COVID, oh yeah, COVID, and the Ukraine war, and oh my God, what's happening next? Oh, oh, there's this and that, and well, what's gonna happen next? World War Three. but, but what about Donald Trump? <laughs> Yes, drum roll please. So this is what's kind of going on and um, everybody's losing my mind. Everybody's losing their mind, but I am calling it, and I'm calling it as a function of the fact that um, we are on the precipice of something incredibly awesome. And so uh, I'm gonna try to prove my thesis with saying I'm calling it right now, I'm calling it right now. The U Ukraine war is over. It's done with. It's. It, we're not going into World War Three. It's. It's. We're done. We're done. We can declare victory. Humanity can declare victory. There's not going to be any nuclear war. It's all a big show, and I'm calling it. <laughs> and so uh, I'm going to show you what I mean by we're going to go right here and we're gonna and we're gonna talk about um, uh, the advances in warfare because you're talking about war nuclear war man, all this stuff well let's let's just think intellectually all right let's go over here to uh, the, the the history of the processor right so back in 1993 over there my friend it looks like we were at about uh, 50 megahertz okay and if you zoom up to 2020 this machine that I'm, I'm using right now is right here at 3.5 gigahertz baby gigahertz come on All right. you know what I'm saying so you know that's like 10x plus it's like 15x so uh, the way we attacked went to war like back in 1993 remember the sorties and the Iran Iraq war we used a laser guided missile and so what is a laser guided missile we didn't have sa satellites we didn't have the uh, the um, uh, cell phones and geo positioning all this stuff you know, we didn't have Google Maps. So how, you remember the, the sorties? Gulf War number one, 1993, 1994. It was a laser guided missile, okay? Uh, that worked by tracking the laser beam emitted from the launch brand platform. So these planes would go up past the point where you could shoot them down. They'd be all the way up there. Then there would be some dude on the ground or some um, way of putting a laser onto a door <laughs> or a window or something. You know, just some dude with the lasers like, okay, missile, go over there. So it wasn't like this fancy sort of thing. They just got this missile to recognize a laser and the missile would go towards the laser. And uh, so that's how we conducted war 20, 30 years ago. All right? And so it looked like this. Not like that. That's uh, 
General Mag Colonel McGregor. We're gonna listen to him in a second. But watch, okay? This is sort of what I'm talking about. Okay, you see that right there? That's the laser, but that laser isn't on the missile. That laser is on some uh, auxiliary um, platform. And so that's how we conduct it. Was, this is the top of all warfare back then during the first Gulf War. So there's the missile trying to follow the laser. Boom! There's the laser again right there. Missile following the laser. Boom! But that's not how it's going today, man. It's, com it's a completely, oops, sorry. It's a completely new situation. And so, uh, uh, basically, um, the Russian army, right, has access to the satellites and the satellites are hooked up to the artillery and so now it doesn't take days and weeks it takes minutes and seconds to uh, understand the target and to obliterate it all right so the russians have that technology they have the artillery um and and the ukrainians don't they have to rely on third party um uh, people like the united states or somebody else to give them that tactical information all right so uh let's take a just a quick look we're gonna listen to mcgregor and we're done with the um, with the little uh speech here so russia all right russia's got 500,000 troops all the way down the uh, border of Ukraine, right? They suffered 25,000 casualties, uh, about 25,000 wounded. The artillery can uh, launch 60,000 missiles, rockets, ordnance, 60,000 per day, all right? And so their tactical advantage, the tactics that they use, is this I ISR intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, uh, platform where they integrate the artillery with uh, the GPS geo orbital satellite infrastructure all right so they go boom lob a series of missiles see what's damaged see what's who's running around uh, uh, attack and then uh, you know boom hit the things that are running around and Ukraine 90,000 troops, 135,000 casualties, 35,000 missing, maybe they ran back to Russia, who knows? And the uh, Ukrainians can only launch 6,000 missiles per day compared to Russia's 60. Excuse me. And as far as tactics, like we said, uh, they got to rely on somebody else. For the, for the data, for the um, strategic data that they need to conduct war. All right? So I'm calling it. I'm calling it. It's over. The war in Ukraine is over. All of this that you're hearing about is just hype. It's just theater. It's over. All right? So we're going to listen to Colonel McGregor. Then we're going to... Uh, Maybe celebrate a little more the fact that the war is over, and that'll be it. What do you say? All right, so here we go, Colonel McGregor. Now I'm gonna turn off the music. Check this. I hope he comes through. Here we go. Videos. Ukrainians have lost easily 122,000, with absolute certainty, men killed on the battlefield. Secondly, they've admitted to roughly 35,000 missing in action presumed dead. I mean, if you go back to World War II and you look at German fatalities, uh, there were almost, almost 2 million casualties or dead, frankly, from the Second World War in Eastern Europe in the German Wehrmacht. And a substantial chunk of that, hundreds of thousands were missing in action, presumed dead. They were never recovered. We have to understand that the majority of casualties being inflicted on the Ukrainians is, is a consequence of artillery fire, not just hard shell artillery, rocket fire, firing thermobaric warheads. These are the, uh, you know, fuel air explosives that utterly destroy a whole area. This is how you avoid going into buildings where there may be people waiting for you. You fire a thermobaric warhead into the building, it eliminates the oxygen, it's destructive, but it kills everything because there's nothing to breathe. 
you, you have a whole range of these kinds of explosives. The Russians have great quantities of them. They use them very effectively because they are also linking these in real time to overhead surveillance. This is surveillance, reconnaissance, intelligence platforms. So you're getting within seconds sometimes, certainly within a minute or two, accurate data to the artillery systems that can then fire. Keep in mind that the Russians can fire up to roughly 60,000 rounds a day. Mm. Ukrainians are lucky to get off six or 7,000 rounds a day. In other words, tenfold more than the Ukrainians can fire in response. Can you address the, uh, you've indicated 122,000 dead, 35,000 unaccounted for probably dead Ukrainian. What uh, do your sources tell you is the number of dead or missing and unaccounted for on the Russian side? What we're getting from the from the Russians, as well as from some the Ukrainian sources, are just unfortunately when it comes to the Russians, they're just not believable. But we are hearing from people on the battlefield. Depending upon where you are and who you talk to, the Russians have had somewhere between sixteen, seventeen thousand, and twenty-five thousand killed and perhaps another 25, 30, 40,000 wounded. And people say, well, how could that be? I just explained it to you. You have overmatch in firepower on a dramatic scale, on a strategic scale, that's why. You have an, a, a, an outmatch in firepower on a dramatic scale, on a strategic scale, a 10X mismatch. Come on, the war is over, people. War is over. You don't have to worry about it. It's just like, just like, you know, it's like, oh, COVID, COVID, oh my God. Uh, and then all of a sudden it was all of this, uh, all of this, all of this, COVID, COVID. And then it just disappeared. Isn't that weird? It's like you don't you don't hear about COVID anymore. And and, and the same thing happened with um, AIDS. Remember, it was like AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. Oh my God, AIDS, 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 AIDS. AIDS, AIDS. For how many? And then it just disappeared. You didn't hear about it anymore. And I'm calling it. It's gonna same thing's gonna happen with Ukraine. It's gonna be it's Ukraine, 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 and then the, um, Russia's gonna start with their umbrella, their sixty thousand um, missile a day umbrella, where they just move forward like a steamroller, and the Ukrainians are gonna be like, okay, 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 all right, we get it, we get it, and it's gonna end. And it'll be out of the news, and it'll be like nothing ever happened except billions and billions of dollars will, will have transferred out of the pockets of American taxpayers into the military industrial complex. And that's the whole point of it all, as, as far as I can see. So thank you so much for coming by, man. Right. Thanks so much for coming by. We're at the dawn of a new golden age. There's good times ahead. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. All right. This is Liam from the Life is a Miracle podcast. Come here. Ow. I hit my knee. All right. Take care.